Hi guys, Lifestyle Mama, and we're back outside, and it's been, wow, about maybe two weeks since we last checked on the garden, and so if you're interested in following me through my gardening journey, stay tuned. Okay guys, so this is going to be a real quick tour and follow up on the progress of our plants because... Do you see that in this greenhouse it says that it's like almost 110 degrees in here and so let's talk about temperature real quick so as you know the whole point of having a greenhouse is so we can protect the plants when it gets cold and before we have our last day to frost but the weather here in the mid-atlantic has been so unpredictable it is really hard to gauge so I will tell you that some of my plants, the last time it got real hot and I did not take them out of the greenhouse for the day, they died. Well, okay, they didn't die all the way, <laughs> but then they're not doing so good so I'm trying to bring them back to life. So let's go on. So if you remember our basil, it was dead, it was dying. There was really nothing I thought I could do to revive it. And in my last video, I told you that I used a formula uh, recommended by Daisy Creek Farms. And it is a hydrogen peroxide and water mix. And I did it one for one. I did like a half a cup and a half a cup. And I only put it in the soil. And that seemed to kill whatever disease was in the plant. So now, you see... This basil is thriving. Fantastic. Now, this particular seedling tray was supposed to be peppers, and I don't think anything is happening, so I think I'm going to end up dumping this out and using this tray for some other stuff. Same thing for this basil. Because I left this on and I left everything closed up the last time it got over 80 degrees one day last week, <laughs> I thought all this was dying. However, as you can see, we have some showing up. So I'm going to let these grow and see what happens. And we have our mint thriving, rosemary, and thyme. The thyme, oh my gosh. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I did use some miracle Grow feed, and so I fed all the plants last week, and it really did wonders for this time. The time just blew up after that. My parsley, I think it's time to get a bigger pot. Um, I'm taking off these little brown leaves as I can, but I just think it just needs some more room. And then, um, before it got hot, the kale and the collars were, even in these little seedling trays, were still doing okay. But um, as you can tell here and in these here, as soon as it got hot, they started to wilt. So um, today I'm going to water these. And I'm actually going to take all of these out and put them on the deck so they can get some direct sun. And they won't shrivel up. The tomatoes, however, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. If this can turn into tomatoes man I would be so happy and then blueberries do y'all remember this blueberry plant from the last video do you see how it is just going crazy again I fed them all here here are the cucumbers and these new are new because before I only had these shaped leaves now I have these shaped leaves so it might be time to plant those in a bigger pot. And I decided to plant some more stuff. So these were actually a gift from my daughter for Mother's Day. And you can see these are pole beans. So they're like stream beans, but they don't need a trellis. So they are exploding. And we just can't get enough of basil around here. But look, they are multicolored. So look, you have some purple and some blue. So this is going to be some interesting basil. So we'll see how that works. Here's my kale. My kale seems to be more heat resistant than the collards. 
So I like that. Still going to take them out of here. And then these are the hot peppers. Now this is probably the one plant that I will leave in the greenhouse today. Mainly because hot peppers like heat. I know it sounds corny. But you can see we have little buds. Let's see if we can focus. I don't know if you can see them. But we have little buds. So hopefully we'll have some peppers in the next month or so. My lowly green onion. I'm still just, I don't guess I'm just leaving it there just for fun. But look at the zucchini. Especially this one. Oh my gosh. I think the last video, you, you probably didn't even know the zucchini was in here. So I am definitely going to have to pot that soon. And then we have our okra green onions and our sage and remember this was the grocery store sage and look at it we even have some new leaves coming up so I'm really excited about that then down here we have our strawberries just did a video about the strawberries anxious to see if we get some fruit from these soon but we have new growth so that's very exciting. And then I'm going to show you, being transparent, the failures. Okay, so this one probably isn't so bad. But again, the last time that I didn't take the tops off, it got really hot in here and they all wilted. But this one looks like it's coming back. So these are the jalapenos. So it looks like it might be coming back. There are a few. So today, I'm going to water them and just leave the top off. But this was the real sadness. Look at the devastation. <laughs> and so, I was going to toss it out. I was very upset because this, this is my salad. And according to everybody, these are the easiest things to grow. Well, apparently not. So I watered it and I have one speck of hope here one so we're going to see if i can transplant that one and eventually when it gets a little stronger and just see how it works out and since my zucchini and some of my other plants have probably gotten a little bit too big <laughs> for this container i am going to now start moving things outside and um, actually I was waiting for these felt pots to come you know they're supposed to be good drainage and everything they're not here yet and I'm impatient and I don't want these to overstay their welcome in these pots so I got these 20 inch containers from your box home improvement store <laughs> and I'm going to start transplanting them and I will show you what it looks like when I'm done Okay, it's a day, uh, it's the next day, I should say, after I plant it. And this is the zucchini. So it looks like I didn't damage it too much with the repotting. So it's going to be getting plenty of sun. You know, the bugs are starting to eat it already. So I'm going to have to try to figure out how to put something organic to keep those away. But for the most part, it looks like it's doing pretty well getting excited also got a chance to plant the cucumbers yesterday and they are really I think they're really thriving there that one was not looking like that yesterday so I think that they really are enjoying number one the full Sun and they're enjoying the fact that they have more space now but um it's a good thing I planted yesterday because today it is only going to get up to the low 60s when it was 85 yesterday. So I have some more stuff coming. I have some more pots over there. So once I get some more soil, I will fill those up and I will let you know how it looks.